What's going on YouTube? This is Old My Device Vids, and in this video I'm actually going to be starting a new series that I'm going to be doing on this channel. And it's just going to be called Tweak Recap. And it's exactly as it sounds. I'm going to be recapping all the tweaks that were released the previous week on Friday afternoons around this time. So I'll just show you guys the tweaks, what they do, and how to use them. And I'm very excited to start, so let's start. And of course, all of the names and spellings for these jailbreak tweaks will be down below in the description. The first tweak I'm going to show you is called Tips. And basically, this tweak will allow you to set the passcode lock at certain times on your device, if you have one, to be disabled. So for example, as you can see, I do have a passcode lock right now. It's just 0000 for demonstration purposes. And with this tweak, after you install it, you can go in settings, scroll down to the bottom, and then you'll see tips. Now inside the tip settings, you can go to activation methods, and this will automatically install Activator, which is of course a popular jailbreak tweak. It also is an application. But anyways, inside here you go to activation methods, and you can set your activation to set this tweak up. And what that means is as soon as you perform the action that you choose an activator, it'll give you the options to set which time the passcode to be disabled at. So I set triple click home. So as soon as I perform that action, I can set how long the passcode to be disabled. So I, I'm just going to do it for one minute for demonstration. Of course, you could adjust hours and minutes right here. I'm just going to hit start. And during the minute from that time on, the passcode will be disabled. So if I lock my device and unlock it, there you go. There's no passcode. It's very nice, especially if you know you want to just set it for a few hours if you're going to be somewhere where you don't need a passcode. It's very convenient and it works great. And the next tweak is called Unlock 7. And as it sounds, it will allow your iOS 6 lock screen to look a lot like iOS 7. Of course, there's no jailbreak for iOS 7, so you could get this awesome new lock screen that looks a lot like iOS 7. And it has that functionality that allows you to slide anywhere like on iOS 7, you don't have to just slide on the sliding knob like iOS 6, you could actually unlock your device by sliding anywhere in. Here is a comparison to real iOS 7 on my iPhone 5S. As you can see, it's a lot like it. The clock has been resized as well as, the, of course, the knob has been removed. And again, you could slide anywhere. It's great if you want to make your device feel like iOS 7. That's, of course, jailbroken on iOS 6 because there is no jailbreak for iOS 7 yet. And the third and final tweak I'm going to show you guys today is spelled K-E-D-O-R-I. I'm not sure how that's pronounced or if it even is supposed to be pronounced, but what it will allow you to do is when you're typing on your keyboard, it will automatically change to a language if you start typing in that language. However, you do have to have the language added in settings, general, international, uh, keyboards, you have to click edit and or actually just add new keyboard, choose your keyboard and make sure it's added. So for example, the normal one is English and it's currently set to and when I start typing it's going to automatically, without me having to manually do it, change to Italian. So I'm going to open up the notes app and as you guys can see, I'll just start a new note, it is in English, it has return which is of course the English word. And okay, so I'm going to start typing in Italian now and you'll notice the enter key will change in a second. And there you go, as you can see, it changed right there. Just a couple words in, it changed to the Italian. And that's very convenient if you're multilingual, of course. If you want to type, just start typing in another language and the keyboard to automatically adjust. Uh, instead of having to go to this button right here, the international button, and change between them, you, it'll just do it automatically. And that's it for this video. Those are all the tweaks this week that I'm going to show you guys. And let me know what you think again about this series. I'm going to be covering all the tweaks that, you know, of course, are tested to work in these videos each Friday. So let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.